right, boys and girls, welcome back. So there's that fantastic picture <clears throat> that Caleb drew for me last week on whales. And again, you can see all the different parts of the whale. There's the blowhole on top, and then the fin, which is in red, and then <clears throat> the tail is called the fluke. And we just learned from our Dr. Seuss book that a whale's tail goes up and down, not side to side like a fish. And there's the flipper towards the bottom. And you'll see my letter friends have joined us today for this activity. They're spelling out whales, of course. <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. All right, so a couple of things you will need to do this craft. You will need a paper plate. You will need some blue paint, or if you don't have blue paint, you can use a blue magic marker, okay? Um, and then some scissors for the next part, but we'll get to that in just a second. So today we're gonna make a blue whale and um, we're gonna use this paper. Now, if you don't have a paper plate, uh, you can have mom or dad or your grown up cut you a big, not a big, cut you a circle um, out of a piece of white paper and you can use that. That would be just as easy, okay? All right, so before we get to that, let's take a look at our whale book. I'm going to show you mine. So this was the book that Mrs. McAdam sent last week. If you have one, you're able to follow along. It says, My Book About Whales. <clears throat> now, here was the first page where you can take your magic marker and you can trace the word whales as neatly as you can. The K way, of course. And you can see I'm using some different colors. So I did the first two to show you as examples of what that will look like. All right, the first page says, <clears throat> whales are a type of mammal that live in the ocean, okay? And we just learned that in the Dr. Seuss book, that they're mammals, which means they don't lay eggs, they, um, they give birth to their babies live, like humans do, okay? All right, now again, here are the body parts of the whale, same as our picture over here, all right? So we have the <clears throat> fluke, or the tail, Here's a fin, this one's rather small compared to the one on the orca. Here's the blowhole, which they use to breathe. And here are the um, flippers. There's one on each side. And these are little on this whale. These are called throat grooves. And this is a baleen whale, right? Can you see that? Because there's that uh, baleen in between there, like the teeth. Mm -hmm. Different than the toothed whale though. Okay, so it says, <clears throat> They start life as a calf or a baby whale. That's what they call a baby whale. Now here you can see this is a blue whale. So I colored these two blue, used crayon for this one. And I used, sorry, I'm just putting my glasses on. And I used a little bit of blue and gray crayon in order to make that the bluish gray that it is. And then I just did some red up here just to make that stand out a little bit. Remember how we talk about adding those colorful details when you make a book? Yeah. All right, this is a sperm whale. Mrs. McAdams wrote that at the bottom. It says they have to come to the surface to breathe from the blowhole. And there's the blowhole on that sperm whale. There we go. And if you remember, in the video, we learned that the sperm whale has a big sort of cavern inside its head there that is very heavy, and that's what helps it go down to the bottom of the ocean. It can go down very, very deep. Okay. All right, here it says they live in oceans across the world. Now, whales, some whales live in different parts of the world in the different oceans, and you can see them on here. Here's the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian Ocean. Here's the Pacific on this side because our globe is round, so it goes around and comes back this way, and our Arctic Ocean up here in the north. So what I did on your pages is when you turn, this says blue whales are blue and gray. So I colored my whale blue. I'm gonna add a little gray to that. Here at the bottom it says all oceans. That means blue whales live in all the different oceans that are back here on this page, okay? Now here's North America and here, we're right about here in Pennsylvania, that's where we live, okay? Here it says belugas, beluga whales are white. So I left him white, then I'm gonna take some blue and I'm gonna color in that background so you can really see that whale and have him stand out. Now this says live in northern oceans. So belugas will be living in oceans. This is north at the top. So belugas live in, in oceans <clears throat> up here like the Arctic Ocean, that's where they live. But they don't live south in somewhere like the Indian Ocean or down in this part of the Pacific Ocean. Okay, 
All right, let me skip, skip, skip. I can see I'm not quite done coloring. I'm still working. All right, humpback whales are gray and white. So I'm gonna make that one gray and white. I might color that background blue, or maybe I'll choose a, a fun color like orange just to make it stand out or something along the frame. All oceans, so humpback whales are found in all the oceans. Here's those funny narwhals. Narwhal whales are blue and white. They also live uh, Arctic Ocean. That's way up top north as we saw. Okay, and that was that long piece of bone that they have on the front by their like their nose. And we were saying in the Dr. Seuss book, it almost looks like they could use that as a sword or a big giant stick. All right, here's our orca. Orca whales are black and white. They live in all the different oceans. So you're gonna color that one like this. So you can see the top half of the orca will be black, all of this, and then the bottom stays white. Okay. Now here it says, what do they eat? Now, not all whales eat all of these foods on the next few pages, but certain ones like certain food. So krill, this is the type of food, these little shrimp that the baleen whales especially like. This is called plankton, and then of course, small fish, and sometimes even bigger fish for some of the bigger whales, right? And some of the whales will eat giant squid, some eat crabs, and here's another type of fish. We know sometimes the really big whales, the toothed whales especially, like the orca, will sometimes eat um, other sea creatures, um, like the squid, or maybe a small dolphin or another creature like that. So. All right, so that will be our whole book, boys and girls. So I'm going to get mine finished up, and I will be able to show it to you. Hopefully I'll get to see yours. There's my cover. Okay. All right, so let's talk about our project here. So in order to get started on our whale, the first step that you're going to need to do is you're going to either need to paint or color this plate blue. And you're going to want to color the whole thing blue. Okay. So here you have, see I have my paint, and I'm gonna be using paint to do this. So I'm gonna pause this for just a second and get my paint ready, and then I'll show you how to paint. Okay, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, so we will continue. So there I have my container of blue paint. I also have my marker. So again, you can use either one. So if you're gonna use blue paint, you're just gonna dip your brush into there, and then you are going to paint all over your plate. You want to color, cover the whole thing in paint, okay? Even down here in these little grooves because we're going to use the whole plate to make this whale, okay? So that's what you're going to do if you're going to paint. You can see that. I like this brush. It's shaped a little bit like a fan, so it helps me kind of dab, 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 dab the paint all over this, all right? And again, I'm even going to get here and over on the sides, I'm going to cover that. Okay, all right, I'll come back to that in just a second. Or you take your magic marker, all right, and you are just gonna color the whole paper plate blue. This will take a little time, just like the paint. And you're gonna color that whole thing, and the bigger and thicker your marker, the faster you're able to color that. Mrs. McAdams always likes to color in the same direction. I always think it makes my project look a little bit nicer. So here, yep, we're going to go down around on the side. I'm going to color all the way down. Now you might want to pick that up like that and hold it and color it that way, all right? And then you're also going to color all of this part too as you make your way around, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do those two. I'll be back in just a second and show you the final result. Okay, boys and girls, I am back. So you will see that I finished painting this one. I'm going to let this one dry. I have colored this one, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next with these, okay? So if you have a ruler, your grown-ups can help you. You don't necessarily need one, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw a straight line across your plate or your circle, right? Right about here, not halfway, a little bit less than halfway, across that plate like that, okay? And then once you do that, you're gonna take your scissors, right? And you're gonna cut along that straight line, like this. Okay. Oops. 
All right. So you have this part and you have this part. All right. Now this part is going to become the base of your whale. All right. And this part is going to become the tail, the whale's tail. And I'm going to show you how to attach that in just a second. So what you're going to need next is you're going to need, if you're lucky enough to have them, some googly eyes to put an eye on your whale. If not, a black magic marker works perfectly. So I'm going to get my black magic marker and I will show you how to attach the tail. Okay. Be right back. Okay, so let me come in here. All right, so the last part to finish your whale, there's a couple things we'll do. So you cut it, you now have this part, which is the tail, this part, which is your whale, as if your whale were underwater, okay? So before we attach the tail, let's go ahead and put a face on our whale. And he's also going to need a flipper because he has a flipper right here. So you decide which way you'd like it to go. You can put your eye on this side or on this side, you decide. I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. Okay, so there's an eye for my whale, all right? And then I'm gonna add a flipper right here. So a flipper looks a little bit, let me see if I can draw that so you can see it. It comes down like that. Okay, got that part. Mm -hmm. Up a little more, right, like that. And then it'll come back up like that. Okay, a little flipper like that. I might have made mine a little bit wider, but that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Here's your flipper. Okay, then you're going to decide where, which way you would like the tail. So there's two ways you can make your tail. If you'd like your tail to be attached this way, I prefer this way because then these two look like those flukes that are on your whale's tail. So there's two, way you can, two ways you can attach it. You could use some tape or a stapler. I'm going to use a stapler because I find that, that holds a little bit better. So you're just, your grown-up can help you with this. You're going to overlap that plate like that. And you're going to come in here and put a staple in the top. See it there? And then I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to put this in here and put a staple in the bottom. There we go. That way my whale has its tail. Oh, the one thing I certainly forgot on my whale was its mouth, didn't I? Now, a blue whale is a baleen whale, so I'm going to make a mouth. Like that. And then I'm going to make some baleen that. If you'd rather just make a smile or something, that's fine too. It's really up to you. Okay. All right. So there you go. Now you have the two flukes on your tail. If you want to, you could even take those scissors and cut a little, almost like a little V shape. Oh, now I really look like we have those two flukes that are on the tail, right? Like that. Okay, now the last thing your whale's gonna need is at the very tippy top, you know that whales have a blowhole, don't they? All right, so you're gonna take your magic marker and you're going to draw a little blowhole wherever you want that to be. So it's just like making a circle. I'm gonna draw mine and then I'll show you. Okay, there's my whale's blowhole. Okay, so we're not done yet. So what happens when the whale comes to the surface, right? water comes out of that because there's air that comes out of there that makes the water squirt. So we're going to make that water that comes out of that blowhole. Okay. All right. So what you'll need for this part is either some blue paper or some white paper. Either color is fine. You can take the white paper and color it blue, or you might just use white, like foamy water coming out of the top. Okay. So you're going to need a square of paper about this big. So if grown-ups are helping you cut that, let's see. Oh, let's get my, my ruler. That paper is about three, three and a half inches by four. It doesn't have to be exactly like that. Grown-ups, you can kind of decide, but that's the general size. Now, here's something fun we're going to do. Who was our letter friend last week? 
Yes, Miss Y. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a big Y on this paper. And I'm going to show you why in just a minute. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make a Y starting up in this corner, right? You're going to come down and stop and then go diagonally to the other corner, right? And then make the trunk. See it? Okay. Now the reason you're gonna make that Y is that this is gonna be the shape of the water that's coming out of the, of the whale, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this, but you're not gonna cut on the lines, all right? So watch this. And the only two places we're gonna cut are on this side and this side. So hold on, boys and girls, I'm gonna make mine a little darker so you can see it, okay? So there's the Y. Okay, see it? You don't have to do yours darker. I just want you to be able to see it when I do it. All right, now what you're gonna do is take the scissors, and again, you can have a grown-up help you, but I think you can do it. So you're gonna put your scissors right about here, all right? And you are gonna cut up the side of the trunk, okay, and then stop, and then turn and cut along the diagonal. All right, see how that worked? Okay, I didn't cut on the line, I left some space there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna cut over just a little bit, ready? I'm gonna cut up, 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 and then I'm gonna turn it to the side, and I'm gonna cut diagonally. Okay, so what I'm left with is this. You can still see your Y, see it? Right, and I don't cut in here, okay. So now, turn it over like this, okay? Now you can't really see the Y anymore, it's on the back, all right? So that's gonna be the back of it. Now, if you remember this little trick from some different things that we did in class, like our placemats, um, try to think what else we did fringing for. Remember what fringing is? Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and very carefully cut a line like that and then cut another one, not too close. And notice, part way down. And this one's gonna be a little more straight. See how I'm turning that Y as I do it? Oh yeah. And then I wanna be careful not to cut into that. And one here. Ooh, maybe I can get one more in on the end. Okay, now when you turn it upright, go ahead and bend each of those back and forth a little bit, like one to the front, one to the back, one to the front, one to the back. And there, my friends, is the spout on your whale. Now, again, with your stapler, or if you have tape, right, you put it right behind the blowhole, because you wanna be able to see your blowhole, and you can either staple or tape that right on the back. I'm gonna use my stapler again. I'm slide it in there, I'm gonna make two staples. And voila, there's the water spout on your whale. And we got to practice our letter Y one more time. How about that? There's your whale, boys and girls. So, all right, have fun. Now, this one's almost dry, not quite yet. I can do it again with this one. This is the one we painted. Same exact thing. I'm gonna cut it along here, right? I'm gonna use that piece as the tail. I'm gonna draw an eye. And I'm gonna draw that mouth with the baleen and the blowhole and the fin, right? And then I'm gonna make the water spout for that as well. So I'll finish this one too, and I'll send you a picture of both of them at the end. So enjoy, boys and girls.